Welcome back my faithful legionnaires to another episode on our channel. Now this is a slightly different one due to the fact we've never done this before. Um, it was asked, requested of us in the comments that we do a sort of tutorial on how to install um, some of our GTA 5 mods. Now I'm not the best person to do these kind of things because I get lost in everything that I do majority of the time and have to rewatch over and over again uh, of what I've got to do. So what we will do is I will leave the link in the description below of where I got all my info from. It is from this one here. Don't mind the ad. Um, it will cover every, every bit of detail that you need. Um, but I will just glance over some of the small parts and then show exactly how I install my mods for GTA 5. Now, what you will need, first of all, will be GTA 5, as per usual, you know, that's kind of a given, a good duh. Next, you'll need Menu. This is so you can actually access all your mods in game, so that way it's actually usable. Um, this will also be in the description below, so that way you can go and find it and install it. Um, and this video here will tell you how to install it properly and any other little details once you have it downloaded. You will also need this, which is Open IV or um, Open 4 or whatever. Um, it is a essential to use that one, so otherwise you won't be able to install and implement your mods. And then finally, if I remember correctly, you'll need scripthookv.net, and I get mine from GitHub. So you would come into GitHub and there would be your latest version. Now, <clears throat> once you have all that installed and working, go and test it out, make sure it's working the way you need it to, you would come back to your mod, which is whatever you'd like. Um, but for this particular episode, we are going to be taking a quick look at Voyager. Now, I know I've done Voyager on my channel before, um, but this is, like I said, something different. So usually you could just press this one here, but I always prefer to come down to here and download it from here. So what you'll do, boom, and it will take you over to here. It should start to download in a minute. There we go. Then I just close it off because you don't really need it. Now, once it's downloaded, you'll go to WinRAR or whatever um, software you have that is go away. That is what you use to um, extract downloaded files. So I have it right here, Voyager. Now there is two ways you can install this. The way I do it, so that way I'm 100% sure I've got it in my game, is I come to my GTA 5 folder. I click on and get it all the way here to the main goody menu. Then we'll go to the mods menu, uh, mods folder. There we go. All the way in 64 DLC packs. And then here we go. Now I've already got Voyager installed right there, so I don't need to just but to do it, all you do is literally do is drag and drop, which is cool. That is one way of doing it. It's the way I prefer doing it, so that way I know 100% it is in my mod folder. Now, the other way we do it is, we'll just get rid of all this junk. It's not junk, it's actually necessary. And then we, what you do is open, <clears throat> open that one, VI. Once it loads in, it does take a minute, there we go. And then you click on Windows, so because that, that's the one we use and then it will open up, and we'll just give it a minute to open. Any time now. Yep, yep, still starting. So once that's started, we will continue on. So pretty much what you would do is, once that is open, there we go, just like I said, you would get, this is the other way, by the way, just making sure that you know. So you'd come to mods, updates, 64 DLC pack and then the other way is you can just drag it into there that's the way I'm not overly fond of doing it but <coughs> excuse me that is one way of doing it now from this folder here this is where some people probably get lost uh, when I first did it I got a little confused so what you would do is you just follow all those little things all the way up to here then you'd come to update and then you would come to command or come on and go to data and then once at this um, screen here what I prefer to do is wait till I literally get to this screen and then 
edit mode, there you go. Then you scroll all the way down here to the DLC list. And then you right click and edit. Now, usually you just scroll all the way down, which is exactly how it happens. <laughs> and then what I do, I don't really worry about uh, retyping all this numbo jumbo. You literally just select that one, control C, enter, control V, and you got an exact copy of what you need. And then you click on that particular file right here, or well, click on those letters, and then you just straight up erase it. And then in that particular section, you would type in or copy and paste what mod you're doing. So in this case, we are doing Voyager. Make sure I've got that right. There we go. Now, this is the big important one. You click save. After that, that's it. And then you can go into the game and it should spawn in. Now, we will show you that in just a second. I will load up GTA so that way we can show you how it looks. So bear with us, Legionnaires, and we'll be right back. And there we have it, Legionnaires. We are in GTA 5, straight into where I always end up spawning in because I haven't really progressed further in the game. Now, what you'll do is come out to somewhere that's reasonably big because the Voyager is not exactly a small puppy to be spawning in. So what, what I usually would do would be to spawn in a helicopter and then fly up. So I don't think I would do any different today. So what we, you would do normally now is that you get out to somewhere that's a big enough area. You press F8, which is where on computers you initialize menu. And then we'll just head down to vehicle spawner vehicle spawner and then spawn in a helicopter doesn't matter really what one you use just something to get you get you oh that looked like it hurt up high enough so that way you can spawn in voyager without hitting anything along the way and the reason i like using helicopters because it just hovers there while you spawn in the ship itself all right that uh, is plenty high enough. Now, there is two ways you can spawn in Voyager. There is obviously the input method, so you type it in, and then, so you just literally Voyager, uh, da, 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 where's my keys? <laughs> and then, boom. If all has worked out well, you now have Voyager in your game. There she is, beautiful as ever. Now the other way is to obviously go to spawner again and then go into planes. Now it should come up in here as well. There, there it is right there. So what we'll do is show you what that looks like. Boom. And the other one is crashing as we speak. That's kind of funny. It's also mildly sad at the same time watching that. But we can't look away. <laughs> well, there you have it, Legionnaires. I really do hope this um, video was helpful to you people. Um, I'm not, I do apologise if it's not that good. This is the first tutorial that I've ever done. Kind of, well, it's not really a tutorial, it's just more of a slight walkthrough, a touch up on what to do when installing mods. Uh, so that's about it Legionnaires. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to head down and hit that like and subscribe button as it really does help us out. And thank you for your support and we will see you in the next one.